All right, sometimes you just uh, might as well go ahead and begin. Thanks for tuning in to Indian Trace. I have uh, three objectives here, so this will be a cool video. And as you guys can see here, the close-up, uh, my week wasn't real busy. Uh, I went a long way. I checked a lot of places, but it's been dry, and you know how that is. But uh, I came out with some good points, three decent points for the week, and I have to, you know, I found a lot of other stuff, some good stuff that I can give away, what have you. And uh, I wanted to show you this stuff, though. I found this this morning, actually. I was real happy I did. Take a look at this. Just a nice point. If I can get the bright effects, I guess, on it, if, if, if that's what you'd say. It's a nice point. I think it looks better just like this. was happy to find that today. I uh, found some other stuff out there that I can... Uh, feel great about giving away. It was nice stuff. Some of the stuff just, uh, I think you sort of have to follow your heart as to what you keep and what you don't. Just a nice piece. Wanted to take my time just to be able to give that a little bit of a show. And this week uh, was slow. I found a nice little Guilford here to give you a close-up of that. And uh, at Notchville, I also found this Smoky Quartz. Little bit of a Marl Mountain. Nice piece, though. Turn that over for you. Look at that. You know, why not? I made the effort. Uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I also was real happy, if I can get my focus working, uh, to find a couple real nice hammer stones. And hammer stones are getting uh, uh, more valuable to me personally. Uh, somebody out there put a shout out and said, you know, do you find any quartz crystal hammer stones? I do. And I mean, I'm holding one right now. This is uh, a module of crystal, uh, of, of quartz and quartzite. That has been completely, and hopefully it'll come in. I guess you could see that. So I get my uh, focus working before I start. There we go. And uh, this is completely worked right off the end. Look at that. I mean, these things fit in your hand like a glove. I mean, it's nice. You can tell how they were used for years to do the work they needed to do. Uh, getting the blanks and what they needed to get to make the points we love such as those, and uh, just worked on all the edges. So I have come to really just admire Hammerstones and know what they carried them for, what they used them for so many years for. I mean, it takes a long time for a stone to get used like this, and it's, it's worked off the top as well, but right down the sides. I'm in my garage, so don't worry about this. Cars and what have you going by. Anyway. I'll put that right there. I also wanted to show you this, which I found, I think it was yesterday or so, just a perfect hammer stone right around the outside edge. Gotta love that. I mean, it fits in your hand absolutely perfect, like a biscuit, you know? So I really come to like those because I know that these were vital right here for these. It's a great idea. It's a great thought, that is. Uh, so anyway... Slow week, uh, but not really. If I go back in time, I'm really thankful. Used to be, I mean, uh, you know, our perspectives change. Just absolutely jump for joy uh, for a week like this, and I still need to make myself do that because uh, this is a blessing right here. These hammer stones like this and uh, these points. Anyway, thanks for checking that out on Indian Trace, and, uh, you know, hope you guys find something out there.